per participant and viewers. Welcome to all in our live online international webinar, volume one. Presented by Independent Perception and Research Hub Bangladesh. This is an educational public webinar. So each and every person feel free to join with us. Independent Perception and Research Hub is an educational research and consultation center for the talent researcher and educational scholar for sharing their perception on different issues and facts. The main goal of IPRH is enlightening the independent perception of individual thoughts by the knowledge sharing, providing research news, training, registration and research projects consultation with innovative ideas and organizing talk show with different research person from different area around the world. So interested true research scholar are most welcome to join with IPRH and share your innovative ideas and believe that and contribute to the society and the world as a whole. Because IPRH always believes that knowledge is power. Our today topic for the international online webinar, volume one, is social media and its societal impact. And today we have, have two international guest speaker, Dr. Lopa Mudra, Assistant Professor of Amity University, Rajasthan, India. She will cover the topic impact of social media on mental health. And our another speaker is Dr. Alpon Paul, Research Fellow of IPRH and Faculty Member, Department of Mass Communication, Guru Chor. On college, Silchor, India, he will cover the topic expressing self, media, social media, restructuring societal value. And we have our webinar chair and discussant, the eminent professor, Dr. Mihir Kumar Roy, research fellow of IPRH, Dean Department of Business Administration, City University, Dhaka, Bangladesh. So let's welcome our first speaker, Dr. Lopa Mudra Bhattacharjo, Research Fellow of IPRH, ex assistant professor of Amity University, Rajasthan, India. So welcome to, to the show, Dr. Lopa Mudra Bhattacharjo. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for giving me the opportunity to talk on this uh, very important topic, social media and its impact on mental health. Uh, well, um, uh, I shouldn't waste much time and start with my discussion. Uh, so my topic is impact of social media on mental health. Social media is a powerful revolution that has changed our lives all around. It has changed the way that we socialize, conduct our uh, business engage in political affairs and building professions and set job recruitments. Evidence suggests that social media can impact detrimentally on children and young people's mental health. At the same time, social media can be beneficial and have effects. Yes, before we talk about uh, the impacts of social media, negative impacts of social media on mental health, we'll be talking about a bit about the positive impact too. Virtual platforms of social media like Facebook, Twitter, Insta, etc. significantly enhance the virtual environment from past decades by facilitating users to interchange their feelings, ideas, personal information, pictures and videos at non-presidential proportion. With the use of platforms like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, people socialize has been greatly revolutionized. It has made it easy to connect our family members, friends and relatives on real time basis that we can see in social media like uh, Facebook. We have family groups or uh, in WhatsApp we create family groups 
and it makes very easy to connect with our friends and family members on real time basis and which was not possible you know few decades ago we can connect them easily okay and it strengthens the relationship friends and relatives and business have the opportunity to share their skills and improve on different proficiencies additionally people get to make new friends and meet new people like we all have that advantage in, in like in the uh, place like social media and facebook we, we get to meet new people and uh, we can show our skill in social media uh, if uh, uh, if someone is very much you know uh, a good academician or uh, you know job holder can search for a job or can show his skill or uh, his uh, proficiency in, in in linkedin or uh, one who is uh, very good at dancing or any kind of culture activities can upload his or her videos in youtube and you know can get uh, likes and subscribers and can enhance his skill so these are uh, how these are the things how social media is actually helping social media lays substantial influence on different aspects of present digital life apart from online communication from marketing to politics to education to health to basic human interaction in many of these areas social media present clear benefits however social media phenomenon is relatively new number of empirical studies evaluated the overall influence of regular use of social media on well-being and mental health of its users now research suggests that social media use is far more prevalent among the young people than the older generation it's with all the countries if uh, starting from india to the, or usa or different parts of the world you will find that most of the young generation use social media than the old generation young people aged from 16 to 24 are the most active social media users with 91% using the internet for social media young people use social media to share their information to share their skill for entertainment purpose and uh, to you uh, know grow their connectivity to get support and also health information now there is there there is a study which is published on uh, statista uh, usage of social media in india as i am an indian so i'll be talk about i'll be talking about the usage of social media in indian context uh, a bit you know uh, i'll just give a rough idea then you know worldwide usage how much it, it is used by sandhya kelri in june 2 2021 said that in 2020 over 50% of india's population was assessing social networks it was estimated that by 2025 this penetration of social media would be 67% of the country's population this is because of the blooming telecommunication uh, industry providing cheap mobile data with the reliance geo blazing the trial of digital communica communication for average india now uh, another study published by uh, h ten uh, tankoski in april 14 2021 said that social media usage is one of the most popular online activities uh, and in 2021 82% of the population in the usa had a social media profile representing like in it, it was like in 2020 it was 80% and when it was again studied they found that there was 2% increase in 2021 respectively according to the estimate the number of the worldwide social media users reached 4.2 billion in january 21 overall um, the overall most popular social network based on active users is the american market leader facebook in january 2021 facebook had some 2.74 billion uh facebook accounts uh, and followed by youtube and whatsapp with uh, roughly 2.3 billion and 2 billion respectively and um, the regions with highest penetration of social media users are western and the northern europe now coming to the positive impact of social media what are the positive impact of social media first uh, first of all is socialization now uh, 
how socialization creates a positive impact, gives a positive impact, sorry. Um, you know, we can make new friends. We get to know many new friends. You know, a new circle is created. Then uh, it strengthens the relationship like uh, we, we uh, as I have said earlier, given an example that uh, in social media, we create family groups. In WhatsApp, we create family groups. We, we get to meet our uh, relatives on real-time basis, which was not possible, uh, you know, a uh, year, uh, decades ago. So what happens in 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 this run in this uh, uh, you know phenomenon we we get to strengthen our relationship then bring families together then we have business the second benefit is business business have greater uh, greatly been impacted by social media from marketing to interacting with the customer on real time basis the online platforms are less expensive uh, way far uh, way for business to advertise their offerings on a real time basis and to the attract uh, more customers uh, through interaction and feedback the uh, the business person can uh, con uh, con uh, connect directly with the customer they can understand the market quickly and adopt new strategies as well you know uh, they can understand the uh, you know customers tastes and demands like uh, nowadays it has uh, we can easily notice that their live you know uh, programs or you no know, they come uh, the maximum housewife they they are business women right now and they can show their product uh, through uh, by by coming live on facebook they can sell their product they can understand what kind of product a customer wants what you know uh, now which is uh, which product is very much trendy what kind of dress the customer want so this is very easy in social media business becomes very easy they can promote their product less expensive then news and politics nowadays social media is a place where people get all sorts of information like in some cases, this is before the media house do. Before the media house publishes the news, people get the information by social media. The online platforms also allow people to air out their political grievances uh, to their political leader and demand for action to be taken. Like if we have any kind of demand or if we have any kind of grievances, we can tweet uh, and we can ask for immediate action. Then it is also a medium where mass political rallies are formed, campaigns are carried out, and even political unrests are most fit. Job hiring. Social media has impacted job recruitment significantly. The, major, uh, the majority of the companies make their hiring decision by, uh, on the basis of one's uh, social pro portfolios, like um, example, LinkedIn. This is the evident in the platform like LinkedIn where job seekers can create their profile containing their skills as I have mentioned already earlier, and see what job opportunities recruiters are posting. Education. 2020 has showed us that no online, though offline, on, uh, online cannot, uh, online education or online classes cannot replace offline classes or offline interaction. But still, somehow it has made easy for many students to participate, you know, uh, in, in, uh, in online courses. They can, they can, you know, enhance their skill. They can learn more uh, with the help of online classes. There is a massive increase in online learning where one can easily learn skill and build a strong profession around it. Other positive impacts are self-expression, commun communicating with long distance friends, then uh, self-identity, emotional support, feeling accepted, uh, expressing creativity online and entertainment. So these are the positive aspects of social media. Now uh, we'll be know uh, we'll know about that. What you know? What drives us to use social media? What, what makes us use social media? We access social media via uh, smartphones or uh, via tabs, and which is very convenient. And to keep in touch, also it is it is very easy to keep in touch. You know, we can just text in, uh, you know, in WhatsApp, and you know, we can uh, get to that person very easily. And social media is always accessible. Now, this round-the-clock hyperconnectivity can trigger impulse control problems, the constant alerts and notifications. So, affecting our concentration and focus, disturbing 
us slip and making us slave to our mobile phone there will be continuously notification alerts and you know we will have the urge to see you know what's new in that you know uh, something new maybe you know someone has texted me or or something something new and you know that that thing triggers us to you know access social media it's a kind of gambling or you can say this is how the company strategy is to earn uh, strategies to earn money so this is how social media actually no this is what trigger us to use social media now coming to the negative impact of social media the main topic that how social media impacts our men mental health in today's world many of us rely on social media platforms such as facebook twitter snapchat youtube and instagram to find connect with each other while each has its benefits it's important to remember that social media can never be the replacement for real world human connection ironically the technology which was created to bring everyone close has now is now responsible to make everyone feel lonely actually they're not bringing close you know if if you go through it you no know, uh, this is a negative impact and you know it is designed for the people you know spending too much time and engaging with social media can actually make you feel lonely and uh, isolated and exacerbated mental health problems such as anxiety stress and depression uh, one can feel left out too losing sleep and have negative experiences like cyber bullying now uh, multiple studies have uh, found a strong link between heavy social media use and increased risk of, for depression anxiety loneliness self harm and even suicidal tendencies like uh, in the year 2017 or uh, maybe 18 there was a game came out uh, called blue whale or momo challenge where uh, we we saw no uh, a few kids committed suicide it's a game this is a challenging game and we saw kids you know uh, they were cutting their hands and there were series of challenges given and it was actually triggering the kids to commit suicide the last challenge work was you commit suicide you die and the kid have you no know, it has to die or else you know some kind of data is well leaked and they were saying that it will affect your parents and it was actually affecting the mental health of the kid and kids were actually committing suicide it, it became a matter of concern for everyone so this is how suicidal tendencies come and even if you if you see some of the of some people what they do they come online and they talk about their problem and there was a number of cases a few years ago where uh, they come online and they commit suicide so these are the negative aspects we'll go on thoroughly one by one in adequacy about your life or appearance first point if we scroll to the news feeds and if we find i uh, know someone's life is very good very happening or appearance yes there are certain things where where we feel we get motivated if it's a fitness journey we get motivated if she can why can't i but in some cases it may also hamper like for example last year there was a, a post by our our bollywood actress anushka sharma where she posted her fitness you know uh, style or uh, you can say her fitness regime where she was expecting and she was trying headstand in the laptop online her uh, expert was there and her husband our our cricketer virat kohli was holding her legs she mentioned that whatever she did was under the strict supervision of the expert and in front of her husband but uh, of, there was a complaint of by few yoga instructors and fitness coaches that few ladies after watching those things who haven't practiced yoga for their you know who was never into fitness regime suddenly they started that what anushka sharma did we want to do that or uh, you know uh, it is it, they're not they're not judging it they are not evaluating that what may happen because the condition is different she had been practicing it since long time or or she is under the strict supervision now these these are the negative impacts without understanding without you know thinking critically people start following it and it may get affected then fomo fear of missing out 
While FOMO has been around far longer than social media, sites such as Facebook and Instagram seem to exaggerate feelings that others are having more fun or living better life than you. The idea that you are missing out or certain things can impact your self-esteem, trigger anxiety and fill even greater social media use. Sorry, and fuel even greater social media use. Like you might feel someone is, you know, uh, enjoying more or, or you, you, it might affect your self-esteem. Or, uh, you know, you might feel anxiety by seeing that like uh, she's she's enjoying, she's going out, she's partying and we are all at home. Especially during this pandemic, we, we have these issues. Like if you want, if you see someone going out and having a good, uh, uh, you know, time we feel that why we why we are we, we are also at home we can't enjoy anything this, this triggers an anxiety then FOMO can compel you to pick up your mobile phone every few minutes to check for updates or you know or compulsively respond to each and every alert even if that means taking risk while you are driving missing out you know, on sleep at night or prioritizing social media interaction over a real world relationship like we all have that tendency if there is no notification also still we have the tendency to just to pick up our mobile phone and start you know checking if there are any notifications or not or if we feel that no this this i can answer him or her later still we are having the tendency to reply immediate immediately no these are this is what fomo is isolation there was a study in the university of Pennsylvania found that high usage of Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram, you know, rather decreases the feeling of loneliness. But conversely, the study found out that re uh, means reducing social media use, uh, usage can make you feel less lonely and isolated and improve overall well-being. The more will, you know, uh, will decrease the usage of social media the more will feel you know less lonely nowadays we'll have you see that we have so many contacts but we have no one to talk we have everyone to talk in social media but we have verbally we do we have no one to talk on real-time basis so this is what happens depression and anxiety human beings need face-to-face uh, contact to be mentally uh, sorry human beings need face to face contact and it is actually you know a healthy habit nothing reduces stress and boosts one's mood faster or more effectively than eye to eye contact with someone who cares about you the more you prioritize social media interaction over in person relationship the more you are at the risk of uh, risks for developing or exercising mood disorders such as anxiety and depression. Like, uh, for example, if a person is already depressed, so what is his duty? He he should talk to his friends. You know, face to face interaction should be there, eye to eye interaction with the person whom he cares. So what will happen? He he he, he will be helped out by that friend or with the family members. Now suddenly he, he if if he doesn't want to share and he he is more focused on social media, what will happen? He might get a few stories or he might come up with a post of a person who is also suffering from depression and it may trigger you no know, more you know it may, it may it may exacerbate his mental health more so this is not an, a healthy habit now coming to anxiety and uh, depression in the present scenario during this covid 19 time it, uh, COVID-19 pandemic, so you will find that the depression and anxiety among the netizens have increased more. A number of studies have been done on it. The impact of social, uh, the, uh, uh, the many studies on the impact of social media during COVID-19 pandemic have been conducted and found that Facebook is at the top of all social media platform. Then comes WhatsApp. Like we get all sorts of information and we just pass it on without fact checking it. And that actually creates panic during this crisis time. Uh, because these two became the most powerful social media platforms. Fake news, misinformation, disinformation. Then uh, 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 where, you know, it, it was spread. Now, in social media, some factual information was also there. Like uh, the number of cases, 
uh, how many how many cases have been increased then uh, in uh, second wave when india was hit by second wave there was uh, a, you know uh, we, we got to know about which hospital uh, is having bed for the patients or about the oxygen cylinders so these are the factual information apart from that many many fake informations were spread and it was creating crisis the study also indicated that these information had psychological effect primarily on younger generation because the younger generation has the uh, has got the tendency to gather information from social media rather than you know uh, gathering it from the uh, governmental sources and people were also unable to understand which information is correct and which one is you know fake information and thus causing more panic and rumors about the true nature of pandemic for example uh, if i give an example from the first wave then there were some rumors that you know ginger tea may cure you from uh, covid-19 and in the second wave it was more about vaccination so these are the things which was actually creating panic among the netizens now abc news reported a poll claiming that in the age of social media anxiety about the coronavirus spreads faster than the virus itself brewer on bbc news posits that hearing a lot of information and news about covid-19 has affected the public and created panic causing people to live with anxiety but on the other hand social media is also a practical platform for the spreading of public health messages and audiences yes when there is any fake information spread spread in social media by any any uh, user then uh, suddenly the fact checkers you know they they claim it to be a fake news then comes the most important thing and the most you know maximum people have faced it that is cyber bullying about 10% of the teens reported being bullied on social media and many other users are subjected to offensive comments if there is any if if any user find it finds any kind of any kind of post uh, not in not their uh, not in their favor they will just drop a abusive comment social media platforms such as twitter then facebook can be the hot spot for spreading hateful rumors lies and abuse and such kind of abuse you know uh, leaves for lasting emo you know for a longer period of time it 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 just it just leave a lasting emotional scars on the on the netizens or, or on the person who is being bullied now self absorption sharing endless selfies and all your inmost thoughts on social media can create an unhealthy self-centeredness and uh, you know uh, and distinguishes from uh, you from the uh, real life connections and you will find many people they just you know take a selfie and then they uh, post it feeling uh, blissful feeling this feeling that each and every update they posted in the social media that like it it seems that they are more interested in virtual world than in the real world other unhealthy social media practices are like we we sometimes use social media as a security blanket when uh, whenever there is a uh, social situation social gathering suppose and we are not comfortable we are, we are not you know especially it happens with the teens they're not comfortable they don't feel like talking to anyone well, they what they will do they will just simply sit in a corner and they they just start scrolling their mobile phone and they give more importance to social media than face to face interaction now a uh, sign that is impacting our mental health uh, and other indicators also which uh, my, from which we can understand you know social media is adversely affecting our mental health are everyone is different now i may use social media for uh, suppose one hour or someone may use it and may use social media for two hours or someone just for the sake of checking notification it it like it is not the same with everyone or you know uh, frequently checking updates the one who is just frequently checks updates and you know having the tendency to you know check the notification even if it's not important then it is an indication that no something is wrong with the habit so other indicators are spending more time on social media a uh, one who is too much on social media really needs to check his habit 
then with the real world friends nowadays it has like a, you have a room filled with friends but all are busy with their mobile phones then comparing yourself unfavorably with others on social media if she can do which i have said anushka sharma if anushka sharma can do it then i too can do it then uh, just uh, another small example i have seen uh, you know few of them uploading their dance performances on youtube channel and uh, i found that she had delivered a baby just a 14 days before and then she got up and she she danced it is maybe possible on her part because she she is an active uh, you know uh, what to say uh, active fitness he is she is an active fitness regime and she can do it but it is not possible for any other woman a disclaimer should be you know uh, posted or it should be you know uh, people should know that you no know, this might affect my health because body type dip, uh, differs from person to person comparing yourself unfavorably with others on social media experiencing ex, uh, experiencing cyber bullying which i have already mentioned that's more on twitter there is a you know trolling becomes a trend whenever you do feel like you you start trolling that person and that that becomes a trend people don't think that what may happen to the person whom they are trolling it may create an everlasting scar or you know it may affect the mental health of that person being distracted at school or work whenever we are at work or in school we are always having the tendency to check the notification as i have said it's just like gambling having no time for self reflection engaging in risky behavior in order to gain likes shares and po post uh, positive reaction in social media the most uh, you know i find the you know best example for this is a kiki challenge uh, there was now uh, you just uh, get out of a you know running car and you need to dance so just for the sake of getting likes shares and in this and in in doing such attempts there were many you know accidents occurred even to pilots got you know uh, i think everyone knows that it went viral also uh, where, uh, they were they were fired from the job because <laughs> from the you know they they just they just the plane was just moving and then they came down and they started dancing that was a kiki challenge the of course the challenge ruined their, their profession but this is just like a risky behavior just for the sake of you likes shares and you know subscribers Sub, uh, suffering from sleep problem then worsening symptoms of anxiety or depression which i have already uh, mentioned and explained now <laughs> if there are so many impacts negative impacts of heavy use of social media then definitely there are certain ways uh from which we can you know keep ourselves safe from these impacts so we'll be knowing that how to modify social media used to improve improve our mental health first is we can reduce our uh time of uh, of being online how we can reduce we can use a app to track how much time we are spending then turn off turn off the mobile phone at certain time of the day like uh, after Uh, 9 p.m. will just turn off the notification or mobile phone. Will not use the mobile phone. Then will not bring mobile phone or tabs in front of our bed while sleeping. Then disable social media notification. Many of us have done during the second wave. You will find many of our friends have deactivated their profile just to get you know some relief. Because I I too have faced that issue in the second wave. Whenever I used to scroll the news feeds of Facebook, I I used to get the all negative newses and the death newses and that to all near one and dear one and that was like actually creating more panic in within me so sometimes i used to feel like let me you know disable my facebook account and many have done that then limit checks as i have said for more you you might have the tendency to you know continuously check your mobile phone for the notifications try removing social media apps from your mobile phones then change your focus whenever you'll have the tendency now let me check even if there is no notification also even if there is no beep sound from a mobile phone still we you know just check it for no reason so we'll change our foco focus and we'll be concentrating on something else spend more time with offline friends i think this is the best thing one can do and offline friends can never replace online friends uh sorry online friends can never replace offline friends express gratitude now uh, as we are 
in, in total topic we came uh, we got to know that the maximum usage of social media are done by the young people the teenagers so these are the things how you can check now we'll we'll get to know how we can check our you know young generation from you know getting affected it is not possible to suddenly go and you know snatch their mobile phone and you know make them understand they may, things may get it may you know turn worse they won't understand okay so we need to check them now how we can check them we can monitor the limit of the social media use if you see your son or daughter is using too much time spending too much time you can limit their usage then we should talk to them about the underlying issues of social media and force social media break that during examination time you cannot use your social media or after you know certain period of time you cannot use your social media which is restricted then we can teach our children or teenagers how social media is not an accurate reflection of people's life many of us we think that what is you know what people post in social media is you know is the actual representation of real life which is totally fake that is a virtual world and virtual world cannot be a real world and we need to teach this to our kids if they see anything you know unusual they will try doing that we should make them understand no that is not the real world then encourage and exercise offline interests we can make them you know uh, meet their own offline friends and uh, we can encourage them for you know to go to the you know crown they can they can play offline activities so these are the things how you can check your you know uh, teenage uh, teenagers or your child from getting affected mentally affected from social media usage now what uh, my last topic is what will be the responsibility of media educators and media experts as a media educators and a media expert i just want to say that uh, they play an important role both now and in near future together they must work to educate media consumers on what constitute good and reliable information and have to critically think through this information like if they get any kind of information they should fact check it they should critically think it instead of posting or sharing it or with their friends since younger people are the most consuming information from social they mostly consume information from social media and they spread it to their friends and family members so where this young generation meet universities and colleges so as a media educators can you know design courses or uh, you know and symposiums uh, which will make them you know understand or which will help them to find out which information is correct uh, how to find out healthy information in the cases of epidemic pandemic or any other crisis situation and for the social media users uh, users especially the young generation for them uh, your social media use use may be problematic if it causes uh, you to neglect face to face interaction distract you from your work or your school or leaves you feeling en envious or you know, angry or depressed and similarly if the user find it that i need to post that pic a particular pic or a post or whatever update just because he or she is bored or lonely or just want to post something which will make others jealous or you know upset then it is the high time to reassess the social media use it and change the social media habit and and, and that can help uh, him or her to come out of those social media impacts uh, so with this i conclude my topic i hope i could cover a bit of this uh, topic because it's a very you know large topic and many things need to be discussed here uh with this i conclude here thank you so much so you're un uh, so you need to unmute yourself
thank you uh, dr loba mudda bhartacharya for your great speech and it's also a important speech for the social media which is related with our mental health and uh, in the attendant and the audience who have any kind of question related to this topic feel free ask your question in our comment box our expert will give your answer later after this part um, uh, now uh, i would like to invite our next uh, speaker dr arpan paul but unfortunately today uh, uh, he has tried a lot of time to connect with us but the tech for the technical problem it is not possible for me to connect with us so uh, we hope that in our uh, next uh, webinar we will invite him uh, for giving uh, his lecture and uh, now i would like to invite our today's uh, session chair and the discussion uh, professor dr mihir kumar roy uh, to discuss and uh, about this uh, topic and uh, uh, before uh, dr mihir kumar roy started uh, his discussion i just uh, said that uh, dr mihir kumar roy is a prominent professor uh, and he is the research fellow of iprs dean department of business uh, administration city university dhaka bangladesh so i am inviting you sir please uh, give your uh, important speech uh, and uh, discuss on the topic and conclude the session please sir floor is you uh, thank you uh, uh, professor uh, shahadir parvez do you heard me do you heard my uh, speech yes 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 sir yes sir please uh, uh, congratulations, uh, Professor uh, Shahadir Parvez, uh, who is the uh, founder uh, and the CEO of uh, uh, Independent uh, Perception and Research Hub uh, for arranging a very interesting, uh, interesting uh, uh, presentation on International Web Volume One on the issue of social media and its impact, uh, societal impact. Probably uh, there are two uh, uh, research persons supposed to present uh, their a speech and and the first one is uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Lupam Mujja uh, Bhattacharya has completed his presentation. Uh, probably I do not know whether uh, Dr. Anupam Pal will present here or not. I do not know. But uh, uh, I am congratulating uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Bhattacharya to present a very lucid and holistic uh, presentation on and the social media and the social, social impact in the various aspects of our life. This is very interesting and very time what the uh, issue that are raised here. Uh, Dr. Hattacharji started uh, with a very holistic and very diverse way of presenting the social media and this uh, societal uh, impact. Uh, in our society, in fact, in our uh, he has uh, made many issues, especially uh, in the context of research, uh, many issues and studies of practice to handle uh, this uh, social media and this cycle. We are now, uh, we are now in the in the third generation or fourth generation stages. That is the uh, digitalized, uh, digitalized society or digitalized system of our, uh, of our, of our lives. Even in our country, we are also, uh, it's called the digital uh, Bangladesh society. Though we are uh, not slipping behind uh, compared to the other developing countries in the uh, social media of the uh, digital position of our uh, life and digitalization of our uh, working. Uh, it's a very nice uh, 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 issues of the impact uh, of our social media uh, in our uh, mental health, in our uh, social fat from a digital life, uh, marketing policies, that were human uh, uh, inter interactions, business uh, business issues, 
uh, marketing etc and and our social uh, social life uh, etc and uh, in analyzing uh, the uh, this issue he has also uh, he has also studied uh, and mentioned many research uh, research uh, papers findings regarding uh, the uh, the social media and this societal impact on the society is 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 very diverse area and is 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 such type of discussions and researches are probably the same phenomena especially in the context uh, of our region especially in in bangladesh uh, is 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 a recent phenomena and there are little uh, discussions is found uh, in our uh, media or the research arena or the research scholars or in the talk show regarding this issue etc the positive uh, impact of uh, the positive impact of the uh, social media is 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 diverse diverse etc we can use use the uh, social media especially to express our views uh, express our views in a very in a shortest possible way with a minimum cost or even no cost etc uh, we can also uh, uh, communicate our uh, messages especially in the business arena Uh, regarding our product product marketing uh, product uh, customer satisfaction tar pore apnar customer satisfaction the customer loyalty and and using this as a as a as a, as a platform uh, regarding uh, regarding uh, our our product uh, diversification product innovation and product uh, product selling etc etc so in our uh, uh, there are many positive uh, aspects of, uh, of of there are positive aspects of uh, social media as mentioned by uh, dr bhartha charji uh, and 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 it is it is especially in our in our social life uh, we can uh, communicate any messages uh, especially in the social media uh, in in whatever uh, it is it, it may be our uh, societal issue it may be our national issue or it may be a issue that are uh, of very uh, quite important in our society as you know that recently for the last uh, one and a half years uh, we are severely attacked with covid 19 and its impact in our society is very much diverse many people uh, lost their life and many business uh, magnates and business firms have lost their businesses and many people are, uh, are now unemployed especially uh, in the covid 19 uh, effect which uh, dr vatidas has also mentioned in his presentation so uh, the, the, this is a global issue that is it is not the issue of uh, india or bangladesh it is a global issue and we have to face this uh, global issue uh, globally especially uh, in the in the area of research arena uh, recently uh, many of the research firms uh, and the pharmaceutical industries uh, of four universities of sita of cm institute of india Uh, they are trying to innovate the uh, kist or the uh, which is called the tikka uh, for uh, for uh, for uh, uh, for uh, 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 as a, as a measures as a measures as a measures uh, to uh, to uh, to address the issue uh, accordingly uh, and 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 the social media is the, is the, is the very most important uh, area Uh, in which uh, we are acquainted uh, with many of the uh, many of the informations and communications uh, that are generally happening especially in our country or even in, uh, in the third world uh, what happening and what is the status and what country is in in which stage and which uh, 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 which uh, uh, virus is attacking uh, in any country Uh, recently the indonesia is in a very uh, very awkward position because of this etc and before that india was in a very uh, very awkward position because of that infection rate etc but presently we are in a very awkward position in our uh, in our uh, uh, in, in, in our in our uh, life especially uh, life and livelihood etc so social media it is possible uh, uh, through the social media to gather knowledge about uh, the the whole world about any issue of uh, national importance within the shortest possible time and and the researches that are done especially on the social media these are very uh, time consuming among uh, deserving uh, issue especially uh, in the context of uh, in the context of our social life and socialization etc etc rupandit uh, mitra uh, uh, again uh, again also uh, made some uh, 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 uh,
ফেসবুক প্ল্যাটফর্ম গুগল প্ল্যাটফর্ম এবং অনলাইন প্ল্যাটফর্ম ডিজিটাল লিঙ্কস to which we are uh, practicing the online uh, issues uh, etc etc though there are many uh, positive impacts of uh, uh, the, uh, social media there are also some negative impacts also uh, in the context uh, of our, uh, in the context of our country or even the other countries to all the same as for example if you want to make uh, make any uh, make to make to uh, make any harmful effect uh, to a particular particular person or to a rival or to an issue of, uh, of the communal or any political issue and if we post it uh, in a in a uh, in a social media by any unseen name then this is create the confusion even the society and even uh, it can uh, create uh, many confusions among the uh, many religious groups or even uh, even the social groups uh, and, and 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 this may bring many harmful effects uh, in our in, in our social life these are some of the negative issues also but we are also always positing towards the positive aspects of this issue negative aspects are minimum minimum aspect. but the positive issues is that there is a very important uh, to reach the reach the people uh, even even in this in the case of politics or even in the case of business or even in the case of socialization or or even uh, in in introducing the uh, once uh, effort Uh, and and to uh, make a post in the social media regarding uh, regarding any any information uh, so that the people uh, who are using the uh, facebook or using the google google or uh, who are uh, using the messenger group uh, etc uh, they can get this message within the shortest possible time so that uh, we can readily uh, get uh, get the news what is happening in the world or even Uh, what is happening in our surroundings or what is happening in our uh, in our country as a whole in in every aspect of life it may be in the business it may be in the politics or it may be in the economic issues or it may be in the budgetary framework or it may be uh, any any issues of any concern etc so the presentation is given as given by uh, uh, dr chatterjee uh, uh, is a very uh, time uh, time bounding and and the researches that he has mentioned here Uh, these are uh, these are very much helpful uh, for those people uh, who are uh, who are uh, will be in the research uh, and in the students young he has also mentioned in his presentation the, the social media is very much very much lucrative and very much effective very much young because they are using the smartphone using the laptop etc etc and they are very much accustomed uh, to younger and and they are using it in the, for in that in, in the positive direction uh, in the positive direction. and uh, accordingly uh, the, the younger people who is not is our future leaders and is our future assets and is a future entrepreneur putting it uh, 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 in the business in a educational level in a in the scientific innovation arena in the political arena etc etc so uh, if they are to be trained on the social media approaches regarding the technological devices uh, google platform facebook and other uh, uh, media can create a can create a new world and uh, হেল্প <laughs> 
connection problem uh, we are not to uh, hear you clearly uh, uh, one of the question uh, is come to us uh, for dr lopa mudra uh, recently see that children are very addiction uh, mobile games such pubg uh, etc please explain in this affect our society so uh, and Vishakil Talukdar asked this question. Yeah, mobile phone or any kind of video game is very much effective. You know, uh, very much it, it, it affects the mental health of the kid. Uh, I did uh, uh, during my master day. We did uh, some research work 
on the effect of you know mobile phone uh, that was there at the time mobile phone gaming was not that much popular among the kids but video game was very much popular so uh, now those video games have replaced mobile phone games was replaced by is replaced by mobile phone games so it actually affects the you know if if it's a violent game then what happens the kid will become more violent you will see some changes in them like uh, if there is uh, too much of you know violence and you know killing and you know hitting each other then the kid will develop the tendency of hitting his partner or suddenly will see some some certain kind of changes so apart from you shouldn't allow like there should be some restrictions in those games you shouldn't allow kids to play those kind of games if it is at all necessary to make them play or if it is at all necessary to you know to distract them then you can you know give them games which are very much you know uh, from which they can learn something you know maybe you know uh, puzzle or kind of things on uh, so many games you know good you know educational games on uh, such kind of games can be you know uh, you can make them to play but violent games or so these kinds of game pubg is actually a violent game and it it actually affects the mental health of the kid there are uh, you will find certain changes uh, on the kids behavior or you will find you no know, there are uh, at the time i don't know about whether it's aired in bangladesh or not chota bhim one you know cartoon comes mm-hmm. kids watch them and uh, they 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 consider themselves i am also chota bhim and they start fighting though though this this kind of things may affect a bit to the kids so it's with the uh, video games with mobile games also the same thing happens Uh, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Lopa Mudra Bhattacharya, and also give our honor to uh, Dr. Um, Professor Dr. Mihir Kumar Roy, uh, sir, for your presence. Uh, we are honoring you, and also we give our special thanks to Dr. Lopa Mudra Bhattacharya for uh, coming and give your great speech in this kind of international session. and dear participants we are almost end of this session hope that you earn some educational perception and thoughts because iprh always believes that knowledge is power be happy be healthy and always join with iprh by following our facebook official page and subscribe our youtube channel and those who are participate in this uh, international webinar please fill up the registration form for your e certification so we hope that you are be happy you are be healthy and you are always in a good mind and good health so thank you all so being uh, with us this kind of international webinar and thank you dr lopa mundra bhattacharya from iprh and also thanks our eminent professor dr mihir kumar roy sir we are very much pleased that you come to our uh, international webinar as a session chair so thank you all be happy so next time IPRS will arrange more international webinar and we hope that you will join at that webinar thank you very much thank you. allah hafiz